Hey everyone, I am Unsung NPC, and I'm back here with more class videos for Pathfinder Kingmaker. Now, you might be thinking, but you did all the classes already. And you're right, I did, but I haven't done the prestige classes, which is what we are starting. Uh, the first video is going to be over the Aldori Sword Lord prestige class. A very topical prestige class due to the current political climate in the game. So, the Aldori Sword Lord. <laughs> it's a very specific, if not the most specific, <laughs> um, prestige class available to you in Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's just very not broad at all, and you're you're playing a very specific kind of character when you make this prestige class, which is why I tend to shy away from it. But it gives a lot of RP purpose because the Sword Lords are in Pathfinder Kingmaker, and so you kind of you know can cater yourself to that. Although being a Sword Lord. No one actually recognizes you in game as an Eldori Sword Lord. There's no class like recognition or reactivity. Um, so even then, like the RP is going to be all in your head, right? So here are the prereqs for becoming an Eldori Sword Lord. You need three ranks in mobility, three ranks in knowledge world, three ranks in perception. And five ranks in persuasion, which means you're not going to be a sword lord until you're at least level, unless you're gaining your sixth level in a character. Because you can't have more than, more ranks in a skill than you have levels, right? You also need Dazzling Display, which is the feat where you sh flourish your weapon in a dazzling display and intimidate the crap out of everyone around you. You need Weapon Finesse, which for any sort of just single-handed sword character you should have because Dex is going to be better than Strength. Uh, you need Proficiency in the Dueling Sword. That's very easily attainable if you just take the Proficiency for it at the beginning or if you're a human and have a bonus feat to take the Proficiency or... You choose a class where you get to specialize in a type of weapon. We're going to go over what classes I think will feed best into this soon. Uh, and then you need weapon focus dueling sword. So the Eldori Sword Lord is pretty much a duelist that only uses dueling swords and focuses on intimidation and dazzling display tactics. So they're, they're a very tanky type of duelist. Okay, um, here's what you get as you're leveling up. You get Death Strike, which allows you to do damage rolls with Dexterity instead of Strength. Um, it applies when wielding a dueling sword one-handed or two-handed. And you can't be dual wielding or wielding a shield or having natural weapons with this. It only works with the dueling sword. Quick draw. Aldori's Sword Lord gains Quick Draw. If the character already has this feat, you instead gain Aldori Dueling Mastery. If he has both of these, you instead gain a combat feat of your choice. <laughs> okay. Uh, quick Draw is a bonus feat. Okay, so uh, we'll have to see what Quick Draw does, but I imagine it has something to do with taking out your weapon. Display Weapon Prowess. Okay, so an Adoria Sword Lord adds a bonus to equal to half your class level for this class, the Eldori Sword Lord class, to persuasion checks made to intimidate. You also gain an additional plus one bonus on persuasion checks made to intimidate while using Dazzling Display. So half your class, half your Sword Lord class, plus one on Dazzling Display for intimidation um, oh you get a plus one while using dazzling display with a dueling sword for each of the following feats he has he has greater weapon focus greater weapon specialization improved critical weapon focus weapon specialization 
So if you gather all of those feats, which if you're specializing in a weapon, you absolutely should do anyway. All of those give you an individual plus one stack to your intimidation bonus for dazzling display, which can make dazzling display crazy powerful. Because uh, I know there's an uh, there's a thing for dazzling display where eventually you can just straight up frighten people instead of just shaking them, which is cool. Defensive parry. You get to add plus one to your AC bonus against melee attacks when making a full attack with a dueling sword. Increases the plus two at seventh level. If you're also a fighter um, with the Aldori Defender Fighter Archetype, the levels in this class stack with the fighter levels when determining an AC, the AC bonus. So if you were Aldori Defender Fighter Archetype first and you have this same ability, they stack. Adaptive Tactics. You get to learn uh, to adapt your fighting style to counter enemy strength. You reduce the attack roll penalty for fighting defensively or using combat expertise by 1 at 4th level and by 2 at 8th level. So fighting defensively decreases attack penalty to increase AC. Um, and then combat expertise folds into that and you get to decrease the attack penalty by one and then by two which is great in addition after a creature attacks you for the first time you can attempt a perception check which is 10 plus the bonus the opponent's base attack bonus if you're successful you gain a plus two bonus on attack rolls and to your ac against that creature until the end of combat that's pretty cool that's a really cool ability this is a very tanky duelist this is like a very tanky class and a lot of people build tanks with this dex tanks shatter confidence if you attempt a skill check um to intimidate and demoralize your target as a free action oh you get to do that after you confirm a critical hit or a disarm or sunder their armor so if you disarm sunder their armor or confirm a crit you get to demoralize them as a free action if they're already shaken you can then, the Sword Lord can once per round attempt a persuasion check to intimidate and demoralize the target further after any successful melee attack or combat maneuver. After any of them. Okay, so yeah, if you use Dazzling Display and they're all shaken and then you hit them, then you can shaken them further. Wow. Yeah, you're just you're you're scaring people and you're taking hits easy. <laughs> Saving slash. So reducing exchange. So. Okay. So you have a twenty five percent chance of deflecting a critical hit so that it does normal damage, instead, which is pretty cool. Defensive parry. Uh, oh, we already looked at that, right? Yeah, that's just the repeat of it. Increasing. Dexterous Duelist. Uh, Dory Sorler does not provoke attacks of opportunity when standing up from prone. That's a nice little ability, especially if you're a tank, because tanks get prone so often. So if you're able to just whoop, get back up, no problem. Adaptive Tactics. Increase at 8th level. Greater Saving Slash. 50% chance to reduce critical hit. That's really good. That's killer. That's that's so many crits that you're gonna can, you're gonna reduce to normal. That's so many crits, really. And then confounding duelist. Eldori Sword Lord's Shatter Confidence. The penalty from Shatter Confidence increases to minus two. The target also loses all insight and confidence bonuses to these checks. Okay, so. Yeah, where we shattered their confidence. They take a minus one to everything. They now take a minus two to everything. Very, very cool. It's... Uh, uh, man, all of these prestige classes do really cool things. And honestly, this is such a niche RP. Very locked in specific type of class. But on the other hand, prestige classes, I feel like, are where you can really give your character some RP flavor. Like, that's what I love about prestige classes. 
sure some of them have some really cool powers and stuff but like the rp that comes from them because they're so there's so, like specific things it's just very cool very very cool um so this is cool not my favorite actually looking at the list here my least favorite prestige class of all of them uh <laughs> but it works really well dex tanks sword lord dex tanks are very very effective tanks um i just don't love how easy it is to play these like i feel like you don't do a whole lot of micromanaging and i love micromanaging my characters so it's just kind of boring for me uh but very very cool now if you're wanting to make an outdoor sword lord i have recommendations for you in terms of what class to start as the first and foremost being the Aldori Defender Fighter, okay? I mean, there's no point in not doing it. Your defensive parry stacks, like, and Fighter is such a good one for going into any martial prestige class because, like, you don't lose a whole lot by taking levels in something else because all you're losing is repeat stacks of the same thing over and over and over again, right? So... I think that uh, this one works really, really well. Like I said, defensive parry stacking. The steel net is a really cool ability. Um, so the, the, those kind of things going into it, I think work really, really well. Um, another one that I think can work really well is the thug rogue. I think the thug rogue can work really well because um, they gain frighten, frightening, so if um, if they try to demoralize a creature, like Dazzling Display, that's what it does. It demoralizes everyone. If you do that, the Shaken Condition is increased, and if they're already, if they're Shaken for four or more rounds, then they're frightened instead, which means they'll just start running away from you. Um, and getting a little bit of Sneak Attack is a nice touch, I think. And it makes you a good tank and good at having some damage output. You'd be able to get like five plus, uh, I think, accomplished sneak attack or gains, either, gains like 2d6 more. So 7d6 sneak attack. That's a lot of sneak attack. Um, plus frightening plus uh, brutal beating is also a nice touch onto it. Evasion, rogue talents. Uh, uncanny dodge and improved uncanny dodge they're all good things they're all good things that i think work really well you get weapon finesse for free um you get finesse training uh, which i mean it's kind of you already get death strike but y you know what i mean like it's this works really well i think i think thug is a cool touch for going into Aldori Sword Lord. Honestly, if you wanted to mix Thug and then Aldori Defender and then going into Sword Lord, you could, but three, unless you're doing Mystic Theurge, <laughs> three classes is too many. Or Eldritch Knight. Eldritch Knight is fine for three classes too, but those two are the only ones that I'd, I would do that. Um, the only other one, uh, there's two more that I think could make work. Slayer, I think Slayer is a good foundation for any martial prestige class. Just because they're just really good at killing things. You get some sneak attack. You get studied target. Which is a fantastic ability. You get slayer talents. Which can go towards weapon finesse. Weapon focus. Things like that. Honestly can't go wrong with the slayer. I don't know which slayer you'd want to choose. I'd probably stick with like. Spawn slayer. Because it's just a regular slayer. But you're also good at killing big things. So spawn slayer is kind of cool. Or regular Slayer, honestly. I wouldn't try to do anything too crazy, though. Um, but yeah. And then, War Priest. This one's probably not thought of as much because it is a modded class, so it's not in the actual game. So people might not think of this as like a viable option. But there are some really cool things you can do with War Priest, especially since you get weapon focus for free. Um, and your weapon's damage is going to be better based on your level in War Priest. So, where is it at? Uh, like, 
What is the damage? Yeah. So at ten, at at tenth level, your sword is doing one d ten. So if you do ten here, ten sword board, your dueling sword is gonna do one d ten damage instead of one d eight, which is really really cool. Um, which I like that. And then cult leader gains a bonus to they gain skill focus persuasion and some sneak attack so cult leader going into outdoor sword lord would be an actually really really cool combination in my opinion just because increase the persuasion which helps you as a sword lord you get a little tiny bit of sneak attack but any added damage any extra damage is extra damage you get some enhancement bonus you get your 1d10 you get your weapon focus and you get blessings you get blessing powers um you only get yeah you get the minor and major because they're at first and tenth level so you would get full blessing powers on top of that and there are some blessings that you could probably find that would like you know synergize well for you um but this is the aldori sword lord this is what i recommend aldori defender fighter thug rogue any type of slayer but spawn slayer is probably better war priest specifically cult leader war priest i would definitely recommend those as a good basis honestly if anyone does like a cult leader to aldori sword bard i'd be interested to hear about how that works out for you because it just seems really cool like a combination that just can't go wrong um but yeah the other thing is like you do have to worry about skills right all these skill ranks so if you can get additional skills from being a human or from taking the extra skill favored bonus or having high intelligence, then do it because you need to have four skills covered, right? Um, so you'd want to make sure you're handling that. That's the key part here is those skills. But this is the Aldori Swordlord. I hope this was helpful to you in figuring out how this prestige class works figuring out what kind of meshes well with it um i'm interested to hear what kind of combinations you guys can come up with with these prestige classes as i release more of these videos because there are some wacky combos out there that i haven't thought of yet that i would love to hear about because the like the wackier but somehow really synergized combination you can find, the more fun it is for me. I think that's really cool and creative, better for RP, better versatility in terms of skill set. Very, very cool stuff. So whether you're new or a veteran player, thanks for sticking around and watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button um, so you can catch all my other class videos, feat videos, my let's play video stuff that's gonna come out soon. All of that kind of good stuff is going to check out. Plus other games in the future. I will not be on Pathfinder forever, believe you me. So you don't want to miss out. So go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, I'm Unsung NPC. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.